Hi friends, as promised, and we're going to unveil the next kit of the month for March. Yeah, March. Honey Bunny. Honey Bunny is a brand new kit, so it's perfect for spring. It's very, um, it's just such a pretty collection. It's, it's really nice for spring and I'm loving the colors and the papers and all the, uh, components of Honey Bunny. There's a nice array of colors that you'll see here. Um, love, I like this layout, but I'm not doing it. I'm actually enjoying the workshop kit. Tweaked it a little bit and, um, I'm also creating two more pages, which makes it eight. But you're going to see there's a really nice array of pattern paper and you have your sticker sheet here and these pattern papers. Coordinating cardstock is white, uh, honey bunny, sage, glacier. What else is in here? Oh, Seabrook glacier and peach. Really very nice. So let's get a closer look for you so you can see hopefully. And really, I love the plaid. I like the bunny paper. Could also be baby. And I know not everybody, I mean, a lot of you already have your baby's uh, layouts done. I'm hoping to have grandchildren someday. So I'm going to basically put all of this in the vault. <laughs> So that hopefully I can use them for then. But what's nice about it is there is a nice collection of the dots that are honey butter. Um, what color? This is Glacier Limeade Peach. So, and now if you love the digital art, there's the digital art collection. And then there are two stamp sets, right? So I'm not even bothering with the card making one, although it is beautiful, but I am going to be using the Honey Bunny scrapbooking stamp and thin cuts. It's $29.95 for the set and the bunnies and the word Easter are all thin cuts. It has some Easter eggs, some grass. I will be using the coloring pencils with this. And isn't this a really adorable layout? So, so cute. All right. This is the workshop kit. Now I wanted to tell you what's really cool about this one, which I was super surprised that the workshop kit is including 11 sheets of cardstock. Can you imagine that? Two peach, two glacier, one Seabrook, three sage, two honey butter, and only one white daisy. So I'm really excited about that. I will not be adding the coordinating cardstock because I'm using everything that's in here. So the price will be $45.95, but it's all inclusive with the exclusive pattern paper, the sticker sheet, and the dots, which is really nice. Everything that you're seeing here and the punch outs. Now these are the layouts, so I want to give you a close-up look at that. Now for those of you who love to do the card kits, this is the Honey Bunny card kit, which has thin cuts for butterflies that have stitching details on them. They're really, really cute, and it's very cheery and bright and colorful, um, but in a pastel sort of way, but on the brighter spectrum of pastels. So there, it's a really nice kit, and that is $41.95. So it has the stamp set and then the standalone thin cuts that have no stamping to it. You just thin cut them out. So I think one of the reasons I like this artwork has to do with the fact that they did photo mats. So this is, these are pages one and two, and that knowing that um, you're using this circle is a 10 inch circle that's inside as a punch out. We're using both the pot, this side and the outside frame. So that's really nice and you'll see that. The technique that's involved here has to do with weave, paper weaving, and it's just a little bit, but it is a nice look on the circle. It really is a very simple way to use it. And then we have this nice little banner going across both pages. I did use a little bit of glacier blue ink to sponge my circle. I really liked adding that. And I'm adding those really cute bunnies. So I am using water, the regular color pencils to color them in. And it's really a very soft effect. Um, and you'll see that I'm using them on just a few of the layouts. So these are pages one and two. And now you can see that I added the hopping down the bunny trail is stamped and the two bunnies are stamped. So when you're looking at that stamp set, you really do have a nice look of 
stamps array of stamps in here. I like these little Easter eggs. Then you get a single egg. There's a carrot with the carrot top. I'm using the grass that's in here. I'm using the flowers. Now, if you don't want to use Easter, you can use uh, Happy Spring or Spring Has Sprung. That's optional for you. Hopping down the bunny trail. I stamped that in two colors, which was Glacier and Sage. So really fun. And then these are the Thin Cuts, the Three Bunnies and the title Easter. I really do like the bunnies and just coloring them in. And there's that hopping down the bunny trail. So you can see the dots are sprinkled throughout and popped up some of the, um, all of the banner that you see up here. But I, it's really, really a soft look. Now this is actually on, it's hard to tell, but it's actually on the exclusive pink paper. But it's a, so soft, it's almost white but it gives it a really soft glow. So I really like this. And I will be doing the same pages for baby. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. The next set of pages are really cool too. This is using a sage background. Um, and you have, oh, happy day, good times, life is good. Now this does not have to be Easter. This does not have to be, this could be any everyday life anything. Uh, life is good, all smiles, good times, uh, oh happy day, and then you have a sprinkling of dots, and now you can see some of that pattern paper being used, which is, I love the um, honey butter polka dots, I love the plaid. Um, actually, all the, all the papers are really nice in this collection, but the colors are so great. So we're using Glacier Sage as the colored cardstock, and then you'll see some of the punch outs that are in here, and there is no stamping at all on these two pages, but you'll see we did a little bit of stitching with the black journaling pen, lots of dots here, and some of the punch outs are being used as well as the stickers. So it's really a nice, really nice look that you can use. Now pages five and six, when you look at the artwork that's in the catalog, they actually have beach photos on here, which is pretty cool. Love the sun. Look at this sun. This is all punched out. Now this is the other side of, remember page one had the circle? We used that, but now you have this Seabrook paper here. And the cloud paper underneath, this cloud paper is exclusive to the kit. And then we're doing a lot of tearing here as well and just creating this nice um, soft tone look. Now this could be beach, this could be vacation. This could be anything, really. So I love the peach photo mats that are here, the colors, they really work so well together. Seabrook, sage, glacier, honey butter, peach. You're probably using the lighter side. Love this butterfly paper that you're seeing here, this plaid that we have in here, the peach paper, and just enjoying the process. So I'm actually saving um, one sheet of this paper, but you can definitely use both full sheets on here. Isn't that cool? And this is using the one sheet of Seabrook that came in the kit. So if peach isn't the photo mat of your choice, remember you want to do something more um, with blues or greens. I think Seabrook would probably go well. Glacier, you can change it out and just have fun with that. Love the stars. They're all punch outs. Sunny days is a punch out. This is really, really so adorable, this kit. Now these are the last two pages which I created and I did them on white daisy, okay? You could probably try another color, but I like the white to bring out all the colors that are going on here. So we have the bunny paper here and now I'm really going to show you how I created this look up here and we have our zip strips. We're using peach. You have the butterflies, the plaid. There's a lot going on, but it's all on white, so it really tones it down. But you can see here is Easter. Now that is stamped and peach, and I used the color pencil to add a little bit of detail and colored in the flowers. I also stamped the bottom. Okay, so this is sage, believe it or not. And then I added a little bit of the color pencil. I stamped some of the flowers, and you can see the bunny and the eggs and all the little bunnies that are on here that are stamped in the Easter eggs. Hopping down the bunny trail is a sticker, a journaling spot here, a couple of dots, but it is a really pretty collection. This is one of the new die cuts 
thin cuts that are being sold in the new catalog. Uh, I think it's called decorative, decorative something or other. I can't think of the name off the top, but it's really nice. It's got a lot going in here and um, it doesn't have stitching lines on these that have the little bumps. It just gives you the different um, little indentations of dots versus stitching on those. But remember how I did, you see how I did this? That is using this heart and we're only going to use enough paper to get our scallop and tuck it underneath. So it's just showing you another way on how you can use that. On the first page, I use this large dovetail to stamp hopping down the bunny trail. So you have all of these dovetails. We haven't had a chance yet to use these, but they these have stitching lines. So some have stitching lines and some have this perforated dotted line. A couple of flowers and then this really cute, these two scalp frames are so cool. So here's the flower if you wanted to see just what it looks like with those little stitching lines in the middle. All right, so those are the pages and I just want to show you there's hardly anything left at all as far as stickers you can do for hooray for spring if you don't want to do Easter here very little is left in fact if I was to pull this off just to show you what I'm talking about this is all scrap up there we've already used a lot of this this is scrap down here so yes there is hardly anything at all left so I'm happy about that I know you love it when we use it all, and I think you're really going to be pleasantly surprised. Now, for those of you who plan on liking the idea of doing baby, this is the stamp set and thin cuts that is going to be perfect for this. Sweet dreams, sending bear hugs, happy place, you warm my heart, the cute little bear with his blanket, cup of tea, reading a book, sleeping in bed. So this is the good night, Teddy, and... Um, it is really adorable, and I'm looking forward to making the same pages with this stamp set. All right, using the same Honey Bunny um, scrapbooking workshop kit, I also decided to make baby pages. And I know it's not for everybody, and that's why you'll have a choice, but it's exactly the same cutting guide as well as the same artwork. But I'll show you how I use the stamps and what stamps that I'll be using. But this is really got, um, this collection right here is very versatile for either one. So you'll have to get to, uh, I guess you get to pick and choose. So the stamp set that I'm using is called Goodnight Teddy Stamp Set and Thin Cut. And it is super cute. It really is. Look at these cute little bit teddy bears sleeping, bundled up in his blankie. Um, snuggling here and then also reading. This is really a cute little layout too, but it has some nice sayings and you can interchange some of the sayings that I'm using with some of these on the pages. So here are pages one and two. All right, so I changed a little bit. I changed the banner up a little bit. Um, you can see here I added one of the bears and we're using the coloring pencils to color them in. And it's really easy to do. I added some of the stars that come in the stamp set with the berry. You're the berry best is stamped. And now you can see this is um, that circle. It has like little pinholes, basically. And we're using the dots. So we have our stars and our teddy there. And look how cute. Now you can see that scalloped uh, square here, like a little blankie, uh, the teddy that's sleeping, some more stars. And now this is stamped. And this one I added a little stitching lines just to show you that's optional if you wanted to do something like that. Same thing with the moon. The moon comes in with a little teddy bear. Sweet Dreams is stamped. And I took that dovetail and I dovetailed both ends without cutting it. And then the other teddy bear right there with the blankie. So they're all colored in with pencils and just adding those little bits of details. And now you can see how it could really work for baby, right? The colors are perfect. It doesn't matter that this is a soft pink background. It could be boy or girl because the colors are peach, sage, glacier, honey butter, and um, it's actually flamingo, but it's really a touch of flamingo. You could see it right here. But yeah, 
really cool really nice pages now the second page second layout still can be for anything you want i didn't go crazy with the bears because you could add your own you could change this title out but i'm thinking with a baby oh happy day why not right life is good you can change that or take it off and here you could see i have the little bear reading and i um stamped the plaid paper and fussy cut that out to make the blanket and i used the little stars that are in that's in the stamped set to stamp the book as well so you can have some fun with that but you i definitely see this as baby pages now you could change this out like i said put another circle over it um, and use one of the other messages that's in the kit so but definitely a baby page too I thought this one, I just love this one here. Sunny days, right? We have the sunshine. We have the cute little cuddle, snuggly bear here. Uh, the heart is done on the plaid paper. Some more little dovetails out of the sticker sheet and some of the stars. And of course the dots, you're going to love the dots that are in the honey butter here. There's sage, there's peach and glacier, all that come inside the workshop kit too. Now here I did sweet dreams. So now you can see that dovetail and the cute little bear and I stamped the blanket and fussy cut it out um, on that yellow polka dot paper that's in the kit. And once again, everything is penciled in. So it's a really soft look. And we have the moon that's being stamped here. So you have basically day and night. And uh, you could have changed this out to the one reading if you wanted to, or the one holding the coffee, uh, not coffee, but a cup, a cup of cocoa. Um, but yeah, I think the colors are perfect for a baby kit. And now you can see these are exactly the same pages. It's the same cutting guide for both. And the last set of pages. Look, you have the cute little bunnies for the baby up here. And here is this cute little bear having his cocoa. And then you're just coloring it in with the pencils. And here are some of those little flowers that are thin cut out with the dots in the middle. So I tweaked it just a little bit and I did You, you Warm My Heart. And that's stamped in peach with a little bit of the brown pencil for shading. The cute little snuggle bear here but you can pick and choose the pairs you want if you prefer and having, you know, options of how you want to decorate your page with the bears. But now you can see how all the pages work so well together. And it is exactly the same kit as the honey bunny that we did for the Easter or this page could be the beach page. This page was um, different kind of photos on here completely. It, it really doesn't scream baby this kit, but the colors and the soft patterns really work so well. And it could be for any gender, it doesn't matter. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll wanna make these pages as well.